today. We are just about starting to write the first line of the second chapter of the Shami story in India because today we are talking about the advent of 5G. Now all of us know that 5G networks are in the process of getting rolled out and should cover most of the country by the end of 2023. And Xiaomi takes great pride in being at the forefront of launching more than 20 device, devices which provide 5G support to all of our users. And to showcase the power and capability of the 5G networks, today we are doing something special. This launch is the first such event of its kind, which is live streamed from this venue on a 5G network. So all the folks out there watching the live stream on YouTube and other social media channels, you're doing it courtesy of 5G network from which we are live streaming this, not just across India, but across the entire world. And big thanks to our partners, Reliance Geo, who have collaborated with us, figured out all the technicalities to make this massive milestone possible. Huge gratitude for the partnership that Reliance Geo brought to the table. Thank you very much. And let's hear what Shalab, the Chief Marketing Officer Mobility of Geo, has to say about this. Geo True 5G is one of the most advanced 5G services in the world. It is based on a standalone architecture. This enables powerful functionalities like low latency, mapping, and cloud computing. The 700 megahertz band that we have allows for a fantastic window coverage. Carrier aggregation, which is enabled by Geo True 5G, is akin to an amazing data highway. It is a significant step forward in Geo's vision to ensure that every Indian has access to transformative services and platforms to lead a full digital life. We are proud of the partnership that we have with Xiaomi because of the shared values we have to achieve this vision. The Xiaomi Note 12 series phones work best on Geo True 5G because of the unparalleled customer experience they provide. We wish immense success to Xiaomi for the successful launch of the Note 12 series phones. Thank you so much, uh, Shalab and uh, Team Reliance Geo. We wish you the very best too. Let's together propel India to the next league in terms of digital transformation. Now, while our commitment to users has often been spoken about, this would not have been possible without our dedication to making an India. Starting way back in 2015 with small and humble means, we have come a long way today. Today, 100% of the smartphones and the 100% of the smart televisions that we sell in India are proudly made in India. And we, But that's not all. It's not just about making those devices in India. We've also focused on localizing the component supply chain ecosystem today. A whole host of components have already starting to get procured locally. The PCBAs, the batteries, the chargers, the cables, the camera modules, the front and back cover. And we're working on further broadening and deepening this four parts. Now, every good camera has four key parts if I have to simplify this. And let me show you this. So this is a mirrorless camera in my hand. Right now, one of course, you've got this amazing lens in front of it, so that's the lens system. But it needs stability, none of our hands are stable enough to take a great picture without that shake. So that's where the OIS comes in. Now, again, it's a big camera, it can easily fit in a large sensor, and then the computational photography part comes in because all of this information was analog, it gets converted into a digital photograph that you can share over social media to all of your friends. Now, this is a big camera. I can't fit this in my pocket. What I can fit is, of course, the Note 12 Pro Plus. So to push the photography aspect to the next level, 
We are also doing the India debut of the HPX sensor. You, it's the first phone you see this in. How much of a difference does this make? It's all about how much light and how much information it can gather. Back in 2019, long, long time ago, 12 megapixel used to be the norm. Everyone used to have 12 megapixels. So did we. We did have really good phones at that point too. And then we changed it with a 48 MP. It gathered two and a half times more light. But today, with the HPX, with a 200 megapixel sensor, we are going six and a half times. So much more information, so much more details. And in fact, what you get is details, uh, amazing dynamic range and colors. But this is all theory. Let me show you what it can really do. Let's take a look at this image. Now this is a brilliant image because it's also really, really complex to capture. And I want to talk about three things here. One is the dynamic range. Now this is in the bright sun and normally these aspects that you see, the shadows get to get crushed out because it's hard to capture. All these bright, colorful roofs are reflecting light. And also, that's the other part of it. You can see the color accuracy that's coming in between the roofs. Even the overlap that's coming in between the orange and the red right up top. So this makes for a great overall image. But if you guys are wondering, what about the details? Let me show you the full photograph here. That is the magic of 200. I also know our Xiaomi fans like night more than day, so I'll show you a low light sample as well. Now this is hard. Same three things, if you like look at, look at the color accuracy and the dynamic range. Now this is a twilight shot, so it's really hard to do because either you would capture the sky or the building. But here, not only has that happened, but you can see inside that building and the details that are there. And of course, the overall details and the clarity continue to be high. Now, we did share some other images that we had taken. And uh, a few of you guys came back saying, can you show us what this phone can do in India? How has it been optimized for Indian conditions? So I thought, I don't think there's anyone else who's better to talk about this than my friend and of course, uh, industry expert when it comes to smartphone photography. So I'd like to call upon Sandeep on stage. Thank you. Thank you everyone, loving the energy. I think there's a lot to talk about and uh, a lot that we can show you. I think we have been creating some of the best camera phones, especially the past couple of years. But what you're about to see today is the next level. And I'd like to start by talking about a low light image. This is captured in Mumbai. This is captured at CST. And this is an image that I believe is something you will get only on a high end mirrorless camera or a DSLR, considering a few key points. Number one, it's a very clean looking image. There's no noise whatsoever. However, there are a few finer details that you should look at, including the domes here. Both these domes are actually captured with a differentiated color palette. And the reason for this is that with 200 million pixels, we're able to discern even minor differences between various colors, even in very complex lighting situations such as this. However, if you look a step further, you'll notice these pillars which are in the foreground. This is very, very complex to capture because as Anuj mentioned earlier, black crush of shadows is genuine issue that plagues most smartphones. In this particular case, despite the pillars in the foreground being in the shadows, we're getting crazy amount of detail and even that texturing is something that you can actually see here. Now, I love this image also because it's very clean looking. No noise whatsoever. However, if you look at the two areas here, you see the water has a specific texture. It's the first to do 108 as well as Xiaomi Global. How far can we push it today in this day in India? Well, we are going with the highest resolution sensor we've ever seen, a 200 megapixel.
And while we were doing this, the question on everyone's mind, our team was asking, do we really need to push it that far ahead? Do we need to leave the competition so far behind? And why do we really, really need to put a 200 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note Pro Plus? And the answer actually is that we want to revolutionize. We want to continue to push photography to the next level. So before I get into that aspect, there's a bit of what really makes a great photograph. And it's 